Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kudif here and today we are going to learn about the headless browser testing in Selenium WebDriver. So as the part of today's session, I will cover the below points. So first is like what is the headless browser? Uh, what are the different kind of headless browsers available in the market? When we should use the headless browsers and when we should not and then we will see like what are the advantages and the drawbacks of headless browser testing and in the last we will see headless browser testing in chrome browser okay before going to the practical mode let's try to understand couple of things theoretically okay so i have created this document and uh, we will see couple of points here so guys, the first point is like, what is the headless browser? So basically the headless browser does not have the GUI. That means it does not have the graphical user interface. And it executes the code like any other normal browser with no UI. And execution happens in the background. Right. Uh, along with that, all the modern browsers like Chrome, Firefox is provide the capabilities to run them in the headless mode as well. Okay, so I hope you got the point here. So basically headless mode is like we will not able to see anything on the GUI but our code will be executed successfully. Right. And here is the list of the uh, popular headless browsers. So they are like uh, Firefox headless mode, headless Chrome, Phantom JS, Zombie JS, HTML unit driver. Okay, so these are the uh, popular headless browsers. Okay, and as you know, like in general scenario, we are not using the headless mode while testing. So there are certain situations, or you can say like certain scenario where we should try to use the headless browsers. Okay, so say like there is a need of running the test cases in the non GUI mode. Okay, running one or more test cases uh, in the background without impacting your ongoing task. Okay, and when your machine does not have the UI at all, like the Unix or Linux, if you're working on this kind of environment, then it is a good option to go ahead uh, with the headless browser testing. Okay. And if you want to get the scraps content and extract the data from the different websites, then uh, you can go ahead with the headless browsers. Okay. Uh, let's move to the advantage of headless browser testing. So one of the significant benefit of using the headless browser is performance. Since headless browser does not have the GUI, they are faster compared to the real browsers. Okay. And uh, as there is no GUI involved, so basically it needs less resources for the execution. And when we should not consider the headless option testing, so when there is a need of actually see the things visually, okay. So if you want to see like how things are working on the GUI, so it is not a good option to go ahead uh, with the headless browser testing. And uh, as we are not able to see anything on the UI, so it becomes very difficult to debug the things. Okay. So these are situations we should not consider the headless browser testing. Okay. Now let's see like how we can achieve headless browser testing uh, in the Chrome browser. Okay. So let me open my Eclipse. Okay, and uh, let's create one demo class. Okay, so let's name as headless demo and select the main method from here. All right, so let's utilize the code to launch the Chrome browser. So I will simply pick the code from here. Okay. Right. And uh, 
so our use case will be like we need to launch the chrome browser open the google.com and search for some content in this search field okay so let me search for the automation okay so that's it we want okay first let's execute uh, the scenario in the normal chrome browser okay so what we need to do here we need to simply change the google.com okay right after that let's try to get the title of this google.com home page so i will write the driver dot get title okay simply uh, print it out okay right and after that what we need to do okay we need to first identify this web element okay so here you can see like the starting tag is the input and it has a, a couple of attributes like the class okay and max length name auto complete so it has the name so let's utilize this name and uh, the name is the queue here so what we will do we will write the driver dot find element by dot name and the name is queue here so i will simply write queue and after that we need to enter the text automation here so with the help of send keys we can enter the automation okay right and uh, after that we want to close it so we can simply close the driver as well okay let's just execute this code and see what happens here okay so here you can see like it has launched the uh, chrome very quickly and after that it has closed the browser okay let's do one thing like let's use some more uh, sysout statement so i will write the sysout okay enter or uh, text in search field okay and uh, here we can make like home page title is so home page title is okay and let's execute one more time quickly okay so like again like out in the output you will not see any kind of difference but yes we will see some print statement here okay now say like i need to do the same thing in the headless mode so what i will do okay so guys it is very simple what we need to do here we need to create uh, the object of the chrome options class so i will write the chrome chrome options let's create an object as co equals to new chrome options okay uh, let's import the correct package for this Chrome options. Okay. And now what we need to do here, we need to write the CEO dot and uh, you can see like it, it is showing a couple of methods here. So there is one method like set headless. Okay. So as you can see, like it is accepting the Boolean values. So I will write the true here. Okay now what we need to do we need to pass this uh, chrome options object uh, here so i will just pass it here okay and so now if we execute this code again and then see like what happens here okay right so here you can see like it has not launched the chrome browser at all but still we are able to see the output here so which means like now uh, the things are happening in the background that's why we are not able to see anything on the gui but we are able to get the results here okay so this is the one way and another way is like we can write in this way as well so we can write the co dot add arguments and here we need to pass the head less okay Now let's execute the same thing again and see what happens. 
simply right click and run a Java application. Okay, so here you can see like uh, it has not launched the Chrome browser, but still we are able to get the uh, results because things are working in the background only. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is the way you can execute your test cases in the headless mode. So I hope you got the point like how you can achieve the test cases execution in the headless mode. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much.